Good evening, XRL viewers. Welcome to Sepang International Speedway here in Malaysia. We are here for the F5000 race in XRL. Re race weekend number two for these guys. And we are already underway in quali. It is a wet quali, and I, I forgot about you, Wes, sorry. But Hello. I am joined today by Mr. Weswick Gaming. <laughs> oh, you could have just said anything other than that. I you could have said you, our mate. names. <laughs> you forgot me, you forgot my character, you forgot the whole point of you talking. Uh, you did better than you did last week, and no one got to sort of see how you did last week, so we're well, that, that. That, No one got that, so. Yeah, the only thing you did wrong this week is we're Thursday, not a weekend, but okay. Uh, last season's poll time was a 137.5, they're not going to get that because it's Inters. I don't even know if they would have got that anyway. Last season, actually, so this. Uh, the winner was Miss Brilliant. Second was yourself. Me? Uh, Joe. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember this one. Yeah, uh, Craig said a third, so he remembers this one. There is no chance of rain in the race, so we're not going to see the wets, and I think we are seeing the Inters in qualifying, but we won't see them during the race either, so it's the uh, hard compound and the medium compound, isn't it? Oh. Um, for this no, one, yeah. is it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't yeah, know no, it's medium and hard. Yeah, is it, it medium is. hard? Okay, I don't. Yeah. I don't race. So we we have got our first racer coming around the last corner now. It is a new person to the league. It is X O Jessica, and she is going to be. Can we just say Jessica. A time of a one forty five point zero. I don't know if that's going to be beaten straight away. Yes, it has been. But the second person across the line, and it didn't pop up on my screen. I can see a Sauber and a Red Bull just oh fighting it out right now. And now Feedom's gone first. <laughs> I've been on board with him for the lap, so yeah. <laughs> that has crossed the line now, though, sixth. Uh, let's just go down to fifth. Teammates. With Jism Button, which won the first race from last week, uh, in fourth at the moment. Ricardo Steve's in his new message. It's moisty because Button is racing. That's the reason why it's moisty. Because Jism is here. <laughs> Joe Kler ah, in third at the these. moment. <laughs> and Matty, I think, just went second, second. as well. Yeah, yeah there's three cars the which are very close to each other on track, though. Just, they're trying to do the first time they can. Must have Shaco's eight. With they're, they're not really in anyone's work, well, they're in each other's way, but they can't be done anything about it because they're all on laps, so they've all got the right. There's Splinter and the Sauber and, and the person on pole at the moment are Phenom, so the fact that they're all close together is quite. It's quite worrying to themselves. They might want to spread each other out, but they have got a guy right behind them in the form of a Ferrari. I think that's Button. I think, I think it might be. So he's the only Ferrari. So yes, it would be. Also catching up to him. They have to be careful not to hold him up, or that will be. Effective. Well, they're on a lap as well. That's the thing. Yeah, I know, but I don't think they're on a quick one, as they've all been held up by each other. Oh. Uh, then uh, try to sort it out themselves. But it looks like the uh, Red Bull of Phenom is backing off. Uh, Tolo is going to not improve. I felt like he was gonna. Stays third though. Joke Killer is the Sauber in this one. He's now got a bit of a gap, so he'd be happy. Both Red Bulls oh. pit. <laughs> uh, Joke Killer's actually not going to improve either. Well, they look like they're going to improve, but they don't in the end. Button does improve to third. So Button just manages to pit Homo and Joke Killer. Uh, that's nice. Yeah, he's uh, <laughs> only by 300 after he lapped him last time out, and this is only qualifying, remember? But yeah, they're pretty close to each other, and Tomo, of course, was determined right, so not to get lapped again. We have also got Matty about to cross the line on his second. Can he improve on a 43.7? It looks like he might, yes. 43.0 yeah. goes first. How much by? Nice. By 5 tenths. Well, he's got a nice gap at the moment to feed on in second. Which... Did very well last time out. I think he got fourth in the end, or was it the third? No, I think it was fourth because I think MN Shots managed to beat him to it. After their titanic battle throughout the last stint of the race. Yeah. You're no, right for once. Oh, I'm right quite a lot of the time actually. You'll be in shock. <laughs> I have to be right though. I've got the, I've got the facts written down and the stats written. I haven't uh, done any of that. Uh, uh, I've got everything that I need, I've got loads of computer screens in front of me, I have to check everything I've really need to. Don't forget it. 
<laughs> I forget that. Barton's closed in on Joke Killer. Oh, Joke Killer's going out the way. I don't know if Barton's on one either. He didn't close real quick. Tomo now pits. Talk about the minute where everyone's going to pit, aren't we? Oh. Now Button's up. gonna finish this. Button's gonna finish this. Let's see what he can do. Uh, let's see. 42, 43. Definitely not pole, not an improvement either. Wow, that the floor. The is out already on a second set of inters, I assume, as they won't be needing them in the race, as it is a dry race, according to Codemasters. 24 dun, dun, degrees. Dun. Flashing the outputs Will get any closer to the Paranormatic. Quite wet in the last, like, last corner and straight. Yeah, it does look quite wet, yeah. Mm. That's a shag of the other night, so he can improve. 4, 4, 4, 3, 5, a little bit of improvement by attempt. Stays nice. Look at that home straight, that is so. That's wet as hell. Oh, as Jism is sliding around all over the track on the second to last corner. Yeah, um, must have shot going to wide turn one. That home straight in the first two corners is really, really wet. As must have checked it out the way nicely. Willy, 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 willy wet. <laughs> willy, willy, willy wet. Um, Jism um, now slides out of the last corner to set his first lap time. It's not going to be a, a pole sitting time. Forty-five point two puts him eighth. I think in front of must have a shag. Think it yes. Look at that. The home straight's wet, as in full wet. There's loads of standing water, but the rest of the track enters. Does look very wet, and they are yeah. sliding around. Yeah, they are. This might well be, though, because they have a dry setup on, though. Because of oh, no, the rest of the track is getting a bit wet now as well. I don't know how many people are going to be able to improve that. Well, then that's made our life before. I feel, yeah, I think it has. I think that's just been very anticlimactic. Yeah. Because I think Splinter's only just put a time in, he's done a 48-4, and that's two seconds off Daz, so I think that's because of the track getting quite worked. But then again, Go on, he ball, is second. Canadian, and I might just want to let everyone through because he's so nice. You're calling Canadians nice? Yeah. Is this no, a have fact? you not seen that Family Guy no. show? No. Do you know the I've Christmas one? The Canadian guy gives them all his money and a leg and a steamer bill. Come on, okay. you must have seen no, it. I probably have. Do not retire, Matty. Do not that. retire. He's going Why, very think... slow on the track. <laughs> I've told him this. Do not retire. He know, yeah, he's only remembered. Look at that. That's okay. very wet track. Doesn't for inters. Be wet for inters. Okay, Phenom's still pushing it, to be fair, in second at the moment. Will he improve? I really don't think so. Oh, but I looked a bit, yeah. Tropical Storm. I think I did call this right, the fact that they needed to get Very a lap in when they slow, did. Three, so those three cars that were holding each other, yeah. Yeah, that 3.5, so Three seconds six. off, roughly. So that's that, possibly. Will Gaming so, sent you a message. The big Will surprise. Gaming. Hail oh. King Tomo, fourth. Um, Will Gaming says, must have a shags looking a bit moist. Yeah, I would say Tomo up there in fourth <laughs> is a pretty, pretty big surprise. I think a few people did get oh. caught out by the rain there. Well, you normally think that it's going to stay into the no. Um, 100%, so, yeah. Yeah. Oh. It's definitely gone to full words though. I wonder if anyone's actually jumping to full words. No, Tomo's definitely struggling. Well, I don't think there's any real point of jumping. Well, You're not gonna, they're not going to use him in the race, so they don't need practice on him. I think they might as well just sit in the pit. Might as well. Personally. A few I people are just sitting in the pit. I know, improve his lap, but I don't think he needs to. I think a few people are just sitting in the pits, but that is definitely a wet, wet full wet track there, not an instance anymore. Three minutes to go, and then no one's gonna improve. They're all still out there seeing if they could. So let's see what our leader can do. 
He's just started one. Ground to the end of the second, uh, first sector. It looks alright at the moment. He was a bit slidey out of turn three, turn two, whichever one it is. Turn two, that's the one. The hell for works. Here with the revs going on his engine and he's sliding into this course. Yeah, it's, these, it's um, 100% full works. It's just, yeah. just getting wet and wet and wet. Wet, wet, wet. There were a few people jumping in the pit. Look at that. Three cars in a line just jumped yeah, in the pit. He's now off. Off track at the double right handers mm -hmm. of turn. I can't remember. What turn. I won't try and. That's Adam's job to know all the corners. You got to know the corners as well. Airpin. I can't remember the corner number. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bam. Six, seven, eight. I think that's seven, eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Nine. Yeah, that's quite that, a ten. That, is that yeah, that 10, little right king. 10, yeah, 11, that's quite a struggle. Ten, eleven, twelve, 12, 13, 13, 14. fourteen. Fourteen. Hey, I swear they said it's fifteen Wait, corners. Wait, how was? Let's check if they actually finished fifteen corners. Let's check this map I got. No, they said it's fifteen corners, and they're saying that that little kink. You know the from the corner. You've got like a little white kink going up to it. Yeah. That's counted as a corner. Yeah, I counted that as a corner. Oh, did you? Where the hell? Where did, well, there's fifteen. Oh. Okay. How how can you not count? How can you count that corner? No, but not no the there's one this after one here. Down. I'm on board with Jessica. She goes left, and then this one here is the right. So that's count. And then oh, this next that. corner's different. Apparently, they're two separate corners. Oh. Yes. Apparently, they're separate corners. But um. Oh, Tomo's out on the full wet. Yeah, see, they might well. But Jessica's obviously not going through. Just showing Joe what corner numbers and everything is. Action. I did get, yeah, action packed Go qualifying here. Uh, yeah, the does. Uh, second, uh, she's gonna start saying looks like good. Uh, no one is gonna improve. Tomo fourth. Michael happy with that. Tell us who you think's gonna win. Ricardo XP, you should let me race in there for first next week because I can't race at next week for F4. I don't know about that one, Ricardo, but good to know now that you know, can't race race for F4 this next week. Long time in, um, uh, advance. That one. But yeah, no one's going to improve. So oh, that is your grid. Very wide. Just the longest the time we ever have to tell you the grid. So, Matthew is going to take another pole position. There might be a pole position trophy at the end of the season. I did uh, oh. talk about it before. I actually am going to get trophies but for the winners of the championship and trophy of uh, pole position at my own money because I spent quite a lot of saving quite a lot for the eye racing and then it didn't happen. So I'm going to. Spend it on this one instead. Matty gonna take pole again then. Uh, Finn on Forever takes second, five tenths behind, but six tenths in front of the race winner from last time out, XRL Button fourth. And the person that got lapped last week has come back with a storm. Only 300s behind Button, I believe. Takes fourth. Joke Killer is fifth. Sixth is MM. Seventh is Jessica. Behind her is her, her teammate Jism in eighth. Flash Tune in ninth. Must have a shag tenth. 11th Daz and 12th is Splinter, which didn't get out really in time for the Inter's conditions. He got out for basically the full wets when it was a bit too late to even get a really competitive time. That's McLaren's second pole. Yep, he's there uh, once again. Yep, yep, this, yep, two in a row. This is the second time now, so we've seen that he's got the quality pace. Don't know about the race base. Uh, then, he, Shadow Hunter FX, go on. He seemed like he had the race pace to keep up with um, Button last weekend, but sadly his internet connection did not hold out. Yeah, did are you? Real, real life drivers do not have a problem with. They have engine failures, but... so that's what we count that down to. Um, <laughs> Shadow Hunter FX says Button to win, Jessica second, I think you spoke Jessica wrong. Uh, and third, Matty. So he reckons... Low driver. But and we got told by some people she's quick. Moment, so. Yeah. yeah, so at the moment she has proved them wrong by starting 7th. Seven. 7 out of 12, so yeah. I think someone, I won't say who, you <laughs> quoted her to be Division 9 pace, which wasn't very nice. But anyway, as you can see, we have got a that sunny is true. Someone day did say that. in Sepang, 24 degrees race temperature, no chance of rain in my lovely Marussia. Yeah. 
Wait, 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 wait. I can see you too. I can see you too. <laughs> see you. Right. Um, I'm what tires going on? Yesterday. What tires going on? Gonna have a. Gonna go get a drink. Two seconds. What? No, don't do that. No, don't do what I did yesterday. Cause Why? I had, I had big problems at the same time as having to do that. So. Yes, but I. But this is F5. This is F5. That's a good plan. You run, you know, run. As I'm gonna see a message from Big Man Sean saying, "Xrail button first, second Matty, and third is apparently gonna be Hail King Tomo." So again, two people now saying Xrail button. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna go with something different. I'm actually gonna go with for the win. I'm gonna go with uh, Feed on Forever. I'm gonna say first, second. X-Roll Button and third Joke Killer. That's mine. That's random, but that's mine. So uh It's gonna be different to anybody, no one else is gonna say that. Ha ha ha. Uh so that's my top three. Phenom Forever, X Roll Button and uh Joke Killer, because Joke Killer did a good performance last time out. I think he got fifth, I think. I feel like it was fifth. Could be fifth. I don't know. I need to do tables for next week anyway. Yeah, two drivers won't be getting points at the moment. That is Daz and Splinter. So Ricardo XV sends me a message to see who he thinks is going to be top three. Is it him? Button to win, so it's third person. Phenom second, and Tomo third. So another person to put Tomo in the top three. I did not. But uh, another person to say button to win. I did not. Um, but he also put Phenom in second. And he's gone game chat to check if they're ready. Once he comes back, I'll ask uh, himself. What he thinks of oh, the uh, top three this week. Anything actually on this chat that I can check. Whilst we wait quickly. Mm -hmm. What was I going to check? That's it. Nope. No, please. That one. The XRL go-karting day is actually on the 8th of 9th, which is this weekend and tomorrow and, you know, yeah. Get rid of the 8th, really. That's when people go to meet them and everything. But uh, I think XRL Bobbitts is on his way there already. Then to the hotel and stuff like that. He's going. So uh, I can't wait to hear what happens, actually, on Saturday with the XRL go -kart. Hopefully there will be some videos and pictures taken that we can show you, but you don't know. But uh, that sounds like a great bull of fun, and I hope they do it again next year where I can actually go. Because by that point, I can hopefully drive. No. Sadly, this year I couldn't. Mr. No. Joe. We have one person we are waiting for, driver wise. I have been in to talk to him. We are waiting for Daz, okay. LSD Gerard. As soon as he is back, I'm going to get a message. Or you are from Tomo, and we can hit that go button. Okay, well. I've said who my top three is, and I said, so you don't say the same, because I don't want anyone to say the same. I said, um. Feed on forever first, second X roll button, and third joke killer. Who do you reckon's gonna win? Well, who, who would, who's coming top three? I'm gonna go with um, race winner. I'm gonna go with Phenom like you did. Okay. I'm going to say. Um, you say button P two. Yeah. Oh. Uh, okay. I'll go Jism <laughs> P two. And Flash Student P3. I've gone random. You have gone. Mm. Actually, no, no, no. Um, I'm gonna go. Um, okay, go on. P P3. Okay, so what is your top three then? So, uh, Phenom. Oh no. Phenom, right? Phenom, Matty, <laughs> and must have a shag. Right, Phenom, Mazzy, and Must Have a Shirk. Okay, yeah. so you're going with second goes to first, first goes to second, and tenth goes to third. Be done. It can be done. <laughs> right. I love how this division is so random. Though. It's like, well, well, a lot of divisions this uh, season are quite random. You know, you couldn't really tell with the GP3 one who's going to finish where. You can't really tell with uh, F4 too often who's going to finish where. It's all quite close. And GP2 in the midfield is pretty close. It's always who is actually going to get that third space spot. No one ever knows. You could possibly sometimes predict the top two, but. So for most divisions, top three to predict is quite difficult. It's only one good division. No one counts that one. But um, <laughs> that only got three drivers in it. Aren't <laughs> 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 those two both Adam? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> Maybe they've been fun in Wales. Anyway, right. Back to serious business. I, I, I have nothing else to say. Of waiting. <laughs> yeah. I've got <laughs> things to say. Yeah. Um, Clash of Clans. That's what I'm going to do right now. <laughs> Clash of Clans. Oh, right. Uh, they've died. started, but. Don't mind right, me. I'll go double check. Clans. It's a bit late to double check when they've already started, but okay. I'm on Clash of Clans, give me a minute. Damn, it's 10 seconds. We'll be okay, going well, to track shortly, be aware. Never finished. Friendly banter going on in there. What was there? Well, it was Tomo getting lapped in the, in Tom, the uh, game Tom, yet. Tomo was going, everyone watch out for first corner, and they all went, you should watch out for first <laughs> <laughs> No, you should watch out for turn three. That's what the corner <laughs> caught him out. So, so anyway, heading out onto the track now in this actual quite cloudy... Um, Race, isn't it? Yes. Very cloudy. It is my, makes my Mauritia look beautiful. No, it doesn't. Um, oh. Oh, there's a prime start. Oh, Phenom's on the prime. Phenom's not going to win now. Ah, uh, right, okay. I choose. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, uh, I have a Shag's got on prime as well. I blame you. If, you, if Matty went on prime as well, I'd have completely been a Shag. Oh. Uh, first date. <laughs> and we are. That's a very long time they were held for. Oh, damn it. I need to do it so smooth time. then. So, Matty yeah. has gotten off the line well, and he is clear of the rest of the field. Phenom is getting eaten up alive. He is down to fourth already before the first corner due to being on the primes, and he's already lost more places. I would say he's about fifth. Now he might be sick. Wait, uh, Matty had a bad second first corner. Oh! Barton's gone around his outside turn two and taken him. Oh. That was good by Bud. I have no clue how that even happened because he had such a lead into the turn one. Tomo has get, got up to third. I thought I'd never say that before. Matty's gone for the um, lead. Didn't work. But I'm saving the lead. Looks pretty clean. Ah! Uh, Flash students up to fourth. He started like eighth. Third. No, he started like ninth, didn't he? Tomo's going to get second. Tomo's going to get Tomo's second. Tomo's going to second. Tomo's second. second. Oh, no. Um, and as a, another Lotus of joke. M.M. It's M.M. Heavy M.M. shots. Now past his teammate, and they are all going after Matty at the moment. Who is? Whoa, oh, whoa, whoa, oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Right, I didn't I quite think see I what caught that. Then. I, uh, I think M.M. Oh, went to oh, overtake oh. Matty, and he turned into his teammate and took him out. I'm not write that down. Right, okay. Definitely, well, not even Mike. Yeah. Definitely write that down. Holy cow! Holy, 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 holy cow. That, well, that's ruined Flash Student's chances. Oh, that has. After podium. such a great start, he's been... Great oh, he was well. He was involved with Tomo last week, not, not his fault, and I think it's exactly the same again, not his fault. But that has given... Ma uh, oh, did kind of give Matty some breathing room. Wow, okay. It was okay, slow that, in that first sector, yeah. and he has lost Tomo. Yeah, Tomo is uh, trying to close up to Button, trying to give him a fight this week. Well, so that was, um... Oh, the uh, to uh, Lotus has just actually gone wide turn one. Now it broke himself, but he stays in sixth place with, I feel like that type of jism with Jessica, because it's a Williams, but who is it? It's Jessica, which remains in seventh from the start. Nothing changed Who's been the loser then? Well, Flash technically. Well, happened. no, um, apart from that. Um, no, I won. Really. No, I'm saying I'm going to be a big loser. Oh, There's well, I suppose after after Flash Student went back down to the back of the field, they all moved up a place, didn't they? They yeah, went back up a place. It didn't affect too much. Maybe the leader, the Matty, well, Matty posted it got affected quite bad because he was side pole and now he's third, so. Phenom's not lost too many places in the prime, so it's not gone too bad. Uh, and he will check that message from Ricardo in a second. After this corner, as Matty is all over the back, Tomo now, DRS is not used to be able yet. Typical Lotus tactics, take out your teammate. Disgusting is what Ricardo said, Matty's on the inside of Tomo. 
the last corner and you're gonna take it. Wait, who can I hear? What do you mean? Can you hear? What do you mean? Right, so right hey, who? on who, who could you hear? with OX Jessica as Wes seems to be a message or something. What? It's a good, good little gap. She's um in seventh place. She's strong. She's especially quality. Uh, the loaf is in front of her, maybe. Joe, what are you on about? Nine tenths in front of her. She's got about a nine Joe. tenths gap to Daz LFC Gerard. Joe! <laughs> Performance so far from her. Joe! Um, uh. Joe! Joe! What's going on? Joe! What the hell? Why leave you on that? I feel like that had to happen. Joe? Can you hear me now? Right, that went really what, weird. What, what, what can... happened there? I you started to talk to yourself. Like a message. No. So, so, like a, a message was talking. Ah, that's weird. You just you just started talking to yourself, like, oh, he can't hear me. And actually, Daz is now side by side with Jism, I believe, for eight. And that's just keeps the place I have no clue happen there, and then I couldn't hear you afterwards, I was really confused. Yeah, no, sorry, That's the first time that's bad. ever happened. Uh, Jismo with the OS is enabled, he's gonna try and pass Baz for 8th place, inside, alongside, and through for turn 1. Easy braking, and that's... Oh, he's coming up. Okay, then do them. He's already for food. He takes Baz. Uh, they've actually, yeah, far away they have from. completely been dropped. She's actually caught and a lot has actually caught to up MM. The Lotus in six. Yeah, to MM, which uh, possibly have a penalty coming up or whatever happened on that one. But we will have a talk with both drivers yeah. before that. MM and crazy fish. <laughs> and, and crazy fish. Yeah. And crazy fish. make the final. <laughs> They're still in fourth, so he's still doing decent as he always seems to be doing. Hello, still in third. Surprise, he's in third. And Matty has slowly actually got past and caught up with the button, so the button's not dropped anybody out of the app. Tomo is Tomo's. actually staying with the yep. leaders. Yeah, he is. But he I'm really was sure. determined. No offense, Tomo, but. Yeah, he's, he sure. was. He got that last week, and now look at him. This is what happened when you lapped somebody. Oh, fueled himself. He has. You don't want to be lapped, and that's obviously proven here. Now, Daz has the RS on Jism on the back straight. Will he pass it before? Oh, he might actually. Seems like he's going for it into the last corner. He does. That's a, trying to cut back from Jism, but too much grip for Daz already. Jism will have the RS. Does that matter now? Because Daz has quite a better corner. Not at this moment. He actually has to defend Jism. From the car behind, or must have a shepherd on the prime tire sticking with the block. This one might go for a late line, it doesn't do anything rat erratic. But hey. That word I said there, Joe. How about that? <laughs> How about that one? You can tell these people are some smart people. These have tried right to get past. Well, no, other go. Uh, Jism's actually going a bit wide out of turn 4. Can not have, have Shag do anything on those prime tyres. A lot of less grip, a lot less traction. Go a lot longer on the stint, no. Trying it. You know, he might get him out of the left right, and he's got him to the right. That was good. That was very good. So I'm not having Shag in a good place. Sticking with this lot on the prime. Leaders are I pretty think close. Tomo has really dropped back from the leaders. Yeah. He's being um, down by yeah. fourth and fifth. And I he think has a little fifth, bit, yeah. Is that not feeding him forever on his prime? Yeah, it is. 
We're gonna have to change the lead. I think down this one straight now. Matty Z over the back. Or button. Here we go. DRS is open. He's gonna go to the outside for button. Decided the inside is the best bet. Does matter. He's already alongside. He's already through before the breaking zone. Into the breaking zone. They're side by side now. He has to go round the whole way. On the outside not gonna work yet. He's now cut to the inside with the and he's gonna rush back on the button. The button's gonna keep it. Good defending by XRL button to stay in the lead of the race at this particular time. Tombo's still in third. Whatever happened to him has dropped him off a little bit into turn four. And he's looking for him out. He just fed in behind. And he does so. So yeah. Up to Tom. I don't want to happen with Tom. He could have just gone around wide somewhere. Jessica still yeah, decently like close to him. Of a gap though to him. Yeah. I think Tomo is definitely on for a strong points finish if he can keep this up. For the looks of his pace on these yeah, he's doing. on his option ties, but we don't know what he's like on the prime ties. We don't. At the least, so. So it's been a good to cross the bar from on the curve to the left right. I'm going to be having a rub with turbulent air or from Jism's car. 12th is Flash Student trying to recover off again from just like last week. A lot less, uh, same distance, but they're always going to be set races. So, got a lot to make up. He's definitely going to be very unhappy. But, uh, yeah. It's bad. That's damn well unfortunate. And here we go then. Matty on the back of button, side by side now, but down the back straight. You don't really want to pass down here, but he's already ahead as he breaks quite early to allow button to go back through. And he, oh, they would. Hmm. Where's the RS? I've been him forever. Just about to pass. Joke oh, man, he's through. No, he had uh, waited perfectly. He went around the outside of the last corner nicely and also kept the RS, so he's through past button. There's nothing button can do. If Beanham has gone through on Joke Killer under the DRS. Conditions. He has run a little bit deep though, he can joke it could have come back off the inside of him. He has a little bit of a look, but it hasn't been able to go for it from Beanham has set off well and is now up to fourth and chasing down third place Tomo on he's option he's doing from well. Prime. Yeah, he's doing well on his option with the prime title from Man of Four and he won't win now they had it yet he did lose too many places at the start and well, it's on lap 7 now, so I don't know how long these options last, but I feel like they only last about 8, eight laps, they I was told. They last about 8 till 9, yeah. And then, and then the primes, primes are about 11, 10. Primes, the max you can get is 12. I did 12 in them yesterday. So you can do 12 in the primes, so and then about 8 to 9. In the... So that's yeah. really well done by, you have to say, by Phenol, because he's not too far off the lead. No, not at all. If, if... If he's got very good prime pace, the only thing I would have thought though is that when everyone else is struggling on prime, he might That's, have been better to be on prime. You can tell the primes are starting does. to get better because most of the shags now in front of Daz and Jism, which are battling each other with the seven or so. The fact that he was in the mid pack of this three way battle, he was well, technically this four. Uh, and now once the shags through into eighth and ahead of these two, showing that the primes are now quicker. Yeah. Between 7th and 8th. They're, they're a pit straight away. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know how. They were having a four way battle to be fair. They just got the first to pit. I did was thinking that she was struggling on her tyres, and obviously she was. Because uh, she stopped closing in on MM. I think it was the rears more than anything. Anyone else pitted? Not Do you looking know like it. She's a wheel user or a pad user? I don't know. That might be why, because of the wheel users on this game mm. traditionally lose their tyres quicker than the pad users. Well, she's gone to the prime, Another so she's going for the standard design. option prime option strategy, which works very well normally. And he's going to have the back with Daz, Jizz, and Spinner. All going for the, This is for eighth place, and it's a close freeway that's covered the top of these three by about a second and a maybe just well, under a second, maybe. They're going to turn four all in a line. All struggling on their tyres as well. So this is a very close battle for eighth place going about. It does look like that someone pulled away from them. Yeah, but that's uh, that is. You must have a shag on the prime. That's how much prime. these guys are battling and struggling at the same time. He may have got a second and a bit there on that last lap. Definitely but got about one of them would have pitted now. last lap to do the undercut. Yeah, they would have fought, but they might. Have, well, Jism really couldn't because Jessica was in, so. So, Beanham Forever is now 
within half a second of Colonel Tomo, but isn't using DRS. Colonel Tomo. Does he? Wow. Is this tactical? Does it, or has he lost DRS? Because you might not want to use your DRS because of. But Tomo pits anyway. Colonel so Tomo's going to go back for quite a while as well. Yeah, no. Fina nice. Forever has lost DRS. Nice. Right. That that will play a part because he hasn't used it down both straight. Ah, uh, yeah. It's broken DRS then. Right. So Tomo's in, and who else is in? Oh, Joke uh, killer. has come out of the second corner. Matt, uh, XRL Button looked like he had a look on Matty, but was a bit slidey out of turn one and turn two, so Matty stayed in Must front. Must have a shag's going to jump all this lot. Let's see who's getting ahead here. Daz has somehow pulled away from Jism and Spinner, so those two must have had a little incident at some point in the last sector because they were on the back of Daz now. They have not, and they are definitely still struggling. They even want to throw his free pitted, so the undercut is still not happening. But they're trying to pass Jism, they still haven't pitted. Now, really, they're in front or helping Tom Wilson battling for a podium, so these two could get in the way and probably will get in the way of Tomo. Oh, uh, well, Chisholm nearly lost it, and Splinter's going to go through, but I don't think Tomo can make it. He tried to look for it, he couldn't. He guys are struggling there, but Tomo's now going to get held up, and he's definitely going to help. He's been on forever. And actually, whoever that salver is behind him. That's so that's Phenom, helped him so much. Phenom is catching the leaders. Oh, there you go. Tom over around the outside of Jism now. Can he make that? And he has easily, but Joe Killer has also followed him through. Joe Killer, is, this has helped him so much. He was not this close to Tom over before Both the pit stage. Both have pitted at the same time. Because and that's a car off the road. Who's that? That's Daz. Daz. Daz has dropped it. Daz has dropped it off the road. He's he was fine, he came back on, but he wasn't up to speed, he's gone off again to try and get out of the way of everybody. Tomo's actually gone off because of it. Tomo's gone off because of it because I think he was too busy with Daz and he's lost the face to so many people. He's gone down the tenth as well. I don't even know who's passed him. I, I know that Joe Killer's no. passed him. I have zero clue what is going on now. Who was passing him and who hasn't? I think Joe Killer's passed him and uh, that's going to help Keenan forever take him. Jism Kid, Daz still hasn't killed him. I don't know what the heck he's doing if he has not killed yet and he hasn't. He's still out of track. Tomo has lost a place to also MM shots. So that's how much he has actually lost from this. And Joe Killer as well. So he's lost two places in a heck load of time. I had no clue what was going on throughout of that. Because Tomo and D Daz went off the track, came back up, tried getting up to speed. Tomo went to avoid him, went off the track, slowed down. Then Daz went off the track. Then Tomo was too busy to focus on him. And then he went off the track. And it's all showing not exactly what you want in the penultimate corner, which is very, very tricky. Was that a rainbow? No, it was not. <laughs> <laughs> was that a rainbow? No, it was not. <laughs> I thought I saw a rainbow in the game then. I was like, oh, what the hell? Oh, mental. And because of that strategy they did, Flash Jr. has now popped himself ahead of Jism. I have zero clue what was going on there. But uh, first, still, now I'm of this, is Feed on Forever, so he's going to be liking that. How And must have shagged second on that strategy, so he's come out ahead of the two leaders, so I can't wait to see how they if they can bit past him without being held up too much. Well, they are both on the prime tyres, and they are being very helpful for my corner cut. And oh, as, as um, must have a shag, doesn't let Matty straight through. I think yeah, Matty's got to be careful they... not to pass him down this straight because of, he will get him back with DRS. That is the problem. You think. Here comes Button, oh, though. Here comes oh, Button. Oh, Button lunges right up the inside of him. Oh, that was a... Okay. Ooh. Desperation move, but we got yeah, ahead. Yeah, but look, look how close Button is to Matty with DRS. Button Technically for the lead. Outside for turn uh, at turn one, Matty does break later and is hugging the inside line, so Button will not be able to get through there. He's um, actually, I think he's give a tap there, so I can't quite tell. But they remain as they were turn four, but a lot closer. It's not over by a long shot ad. No, it's not. It's brightening up as well. If Button takes his position, that is... Uh, no, he can't. Ridiculous. No, okay, uh, he doesn't take it. It's uh, up quite a lot. Oh, look at Barney, he's gone for it. Oh, that's the line. Close stuff into the double right hand, and now Button's still on the inside. They're going to oh. run a little bit of a tap, but it's quite difficult to go side by side through here. They've done a pretty good job of it. 
Now my guys for the slip through don't just late lunge it into this inside. No, he actually doesn't and Button's gonna take second for now, but technically the race lead once been on forever pits. So what can Matty do about that overtake? Can he get him straight back with the DRS? Can that bat marker play any role in it behind him? Oh, oh, oh buns, man, what goes the? really wide around oh. the north corner, but then goes straight. Oh, nearly cut him straight back off. Straight in line. Matty will have DRS. I would not even take him here, Matty, if I were you. Phenom's in the pit. Matty tries to get around the outside around the last corner. He's going to get a better run out of the corner. If he he's going to have DRS fly. as well. He will have the DRS as well. Oh, he's been closed oh. off. He did that. He, he did that to Button earlier, where he did that same move, but this time Button closed it. He's not going to get him. Uh, Button's going to uh, late break it. Oh, Matt, he's going to hold it on the outside though, and oh. then Sadiq's better of that, and then we'll get yep. a better run out of turn two into turn four. Where's Phenon come out? Does he come out in third? Phenom fourth, just by and Joe Killer. They oh, they've both got an option, so. Joker has still yet to use the prime tyre. But the two cars are now going to be chasing down the leaders whilst they're battling of Joker Killer and Phenom. Phenom might just nick it. He can't take Joker Killer yet, but he's there. He's the best time I've seen left and right. That's going to be the Phenom backs out, waits for it. They might as well work together on the options here to close up to the leaders. As far as Joker Killer let Phenom throw and just try and tag along with him. Sadly, in that whole pit stop, whatever was going on with the primes and everything running, the Tobo's put him down to fifth at the moment. He's actually got, he's got past uh, the MM shots off, off screen, didn't see it. He just goes in by the, on by, by them the both. the pace he had, he might be able to catch back up to these guys, but is he, is he on prime? Yes. Right, I don't think he will then. He's got wrong options. I think he might be able to pick Joke Killer off at the end. Might be able to get Joke Killer at the end, but it depends on pace. A pace differential on the prime tyres. Um, it's easier. Phenom you say? is all over the back of him. Would you say it's easier to Joe Killer to allow Phenom to go through and not battle him, just for the both of them? I don't know because of the uh, Joe Killer will need to get a bigger a bigger gap as possible on uh, the cars behind, as he does have to use the prime still. But also, kind of want to stay in front of Phenom because of he needs to use the primes where Phenom doesn't. He's gone back he ahead anyway, back so he's, inside, yeah, yeah, he's a sorry now, he wants to battle for it. Um, it looks like Matty has dropped off the back of... Uh, that's MM, MM Shots, he's just repassed Tomo with DRS into turn one. Who's behind them? Is it Jessica. It's Jessica. Ah. It's Jessica. Ah. Still. And that's side by, is that side by side for third? gets round the outside into the turn four. Oh. Round Joe Killer and does the move. He takes the move. It's a clean move. Didn't see that, but good thing to get past him now to try and pull away. All the straight buttons actually managed to drop. No, it's a bit like buttons actually managed to drop off or drop Matty as well. So Matty's going to be a sitting ducky for being on forever to close in. We've got 13 laps. Moving at the halfway point, yeah, they've been done a pit stop, but it's all a bit interesting to see where everybody is. They're all very close to it. Uh, there's quite a lot of battles on track. There's the, there's the lead battle, there's the podium battle, there's... Pitting. Somehow, uh, some before, way, uh, Flash Student has got into ninth after all that. And the fastest lap time at the now? moment goes to May. That's Daz LC Gerald, as he just didn't want to pit until, like, lap 10. <laughs> no, that was a strange strategy from him. That might pay off in the kind of did that in Australia, I think, as well. So didn't work again. So third and fourth are catching the leaders by quite some margin. I think Phenom is the favourite to win this. I put him down to win. And I put Martin. And I put Joe Killer. So I've actually not done half bad so far this race. Yeah, you went with the favourite. What, Phenom, Button, and uh, Joker? Yeah. How are they favourites? Well, but they were all in the top five of quality. What did I go for? I went for... Uh, Phenom. Phenom, Matty. Matty. And then Shot, didn't I? Oh, no, Shag. I must have a Shag. Yeah, I must have a Shag, which is now in another place. I think it was ninth. 
or 10th? No, it was, could have been 8th. Who's in 8th? I don't even know who's 8th. It is Shag. Yeah, there you go. That's where he was. It's just like last week, I forgot where he was. He's just a, he's just, just a decent driver. He drives around and he does a good race. He's out of everything, doesn't yeah. he? Him and Jessica have done the same thing. They've just stayed out of it. They're in 7th and 8th at the moment. So good to them. Solid points from both. Yeah, it Solid is. Point. Look at that top 4. All in a line, man. They are close, but they are pulling away from King Tomo and um, MM Shot. That yeah. might hamper um, their chances of picking the Joke Killer off on the last stint because he does have to run the primes. But Joke Killer does look like he is falling back. Right, the halfway point of this race. Tomo could try and pass MM Shot's um, home straight. I don't think anyone in the second. Oh, and Fe oh, Phenom is very close to Matty, but does not have DR the use of DRS. Oh, Has not been good. given to him yet. Goodbye, so he Tomo. Wasn't within a second. I Tomo's done a um, cutback there, the, which is awesome. And Tomo is back in the fifth. Tires, so did he Matty run wide, did he? Ran wide at the last, last corner, because Phenom oh. is right on him. Oh, but um, Tomo's just gone wide turn one after passing uh, and then shots. Shot. Had a little yeah. bit of contact there, but. It's all okay, Tomo goes back into fifth thanks to DRS, so that battle may continue. I think second is a bit close, and it's because they're side by side, because Finon Forever just got up the inside of the left hander, then the right, and he has passed Matty there. Oh! On board with shots, he had a late look at Tomo, but then decide otherwise, but had already missed his breaking point and did go run on, did run on. so that has buggered me right up, because I was hoping to do them two in one. A good, uh, Thanks, shot. Yeah, well, there's a good move, I think, by um, I think forever there. Up the inside of the left hand and, and passing before the right on the flip back, and obviously more confident on those options than Matt is seeming to be struggling right now on the prime. So, taking it as much as he can for that strategy that Finon has done, has put him straight in his picture. Because he's second now. Hasn't got DRS on button, but he's definitely going. Tomo is struggling on these primes by the looks of things. Now he doesn't look like he has the pace that he did on the option tyres. Mm. The fastest lap now Which goes. Shame. Yeah, the fastest lap now goes to Phenom, of course. It's still good points for Tomo. Ah, really did get a good point last time out. Get uh, one. I think he may have got one. Ten times better then. Yeah, I mean ten times better. <laughs> ten times. Bayon. Phenom's definitely going for this. Come over the past two laps. He does not like the apex of that first corner very much. I don't like it either. Don't I have to touch the curb on the turn it's one. There. <laughs> I know it's there. I avoid it <laughs> myself. I don't like it. It's a very bumpy curb. Been on forever, it's close right to the back of the button. And this time by he's gonna have DRS I feel. So this has worked perfectly. Also caught up to his catching on Matty. Yeah, it definitely is, but I think this will work better for Phenom because he's got past one and right behind the lead now. Compared to the joke that has still got to go on the prime. Which is gonna put him back off the spot because they're gonna be on option. The only problem, so he could, might have to settle for fourth. But Fion definitely got a run at the lead here, and right now he's got a run at the leader. He looks to the outside to, or for the last corner. Is he going to actually pass him? No, don't think so. He's going to do that cutback strategy that everybody seems to like doing that Tom did earlier. It works perfectly right now. Look at that. But better traction. He's on the options to crying out loud. He's got the RS. And he's just going to be side by side now with the race leader. But now he himself is in the lead. They're going to break together. Is he going to stick around the outside? He's already through and he's just more confident on the brakes and that is his corner. Phenom takes the lead of the race. Now, can he get a gap? And how long has he got left on the options to get a gap? He's looking and good at the moment. Pit. Two people pit. From, um, one of them is Shot. He was on Op, he was on Prime. He must have a shag just on the second fastest time. Must have a shag is going for it as so well, so that strategy of the prime and option is working. Laps on the options. 
Really? And Jessica is also in the pit. Prime for Jessica. Prime for Jessica. Prime is it? Jessica's gonna go on the end. Was she on options before? She's. Oh, I think. She... She's, she's, she's done two prime. prime. Maybe she's done double prime. Maybe she just she likes the. Prime. Maybe she starts the prime better. But I think that's a better strategy than what she... MM Shots has done. I can't done. remember. I swear she was on the Prime. I swear I've already seen her on the Prime. That's what I feel like, but um... Yeah, that's... that's First um... issue was an option, definitely. Yes, definitely. And then I swear I saw her on the Prime. Yeah, she was, because I commented on how she was just doing an option Prime option, but obviously not to do an option Prime Prime. That's how that's worked out. Prime better? She might not... I would simply yeah, do that. Yeah, maybe. Oh, really? Yeah, I, 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 on this track, there was a massive difference on what I could do on the primes and I could. I think that's Doctor in the pits now, isn't it? In fourth, yeah. and it is. So, um, he's definitely gone on the primes to the end. How much does that work for him? Because Tomo's. Tomo, yeah, and he's flying, by the way. He's just put the, the, the other lap, he said the fastest, second, second fastest lap time. Let's see if they can beat yesterday's fastest lap time in the F4 division, which was a 37.9, set by yours truly. You're welcome. No, they're uh, not going to beat that. No, last stint. Don't think they can get in the 37s in qualifying. Or could I? Oh, really? Well, I couldn't until qualifying. <laughs> ah. Splinter now up to 7, so people are just jumping up. Someone else is in the pits, and it's Student, so he's gone on to Prime to the end. So people seem in the favour of Prime or something here. But then again, I think Student went Option, Option, Prime, because of what happened. So that's yeah. what's happened there with him. He's done the same strategy as Joke Killer. He comes out in 11th place ahead of Daz. as a gel with the Mayor put it again. He may have, I think he may have. So in 11th, so Student trying to make something of the race. He's on forever, trying to take those... Options further and further and further. He didn't need to get to lap 20. 20. Yeah. And he's doing a good which job at the moment, still pulling the gap. Yeah. Possible. I think he picked lap 11, didn't he? He's definitely possible. Definitely in the double digits. He's definitely pulling away from Button and Maddie, so he's getting the gap they need. And uh, Tobo's definitely being caught up by Master of a Shag, which is on the same strategy as. Um, been on forever at the moment and it's really working. Put this other shag from I swear I said he was an eight and now he's in I know people were pitting everything as he's fifth, but he's still the second fastest lap time behind Phenom and ahead of just ahead of Matty. I think we have got mucked up timings for everyone though at the moment because when people cross the line, I don't know if you noticed in the top right uh, top right corner, yeah. Get a load of numbers as they set their bit lap as they set their lap. I do not have that. It's all oh, Splinter has just messed up the pear tree. He kept it out of the wall, but he definitely cost himself maybe a second and a bit more coming into the pits there. Let's see what ties he goes on to. Is it the top? No, Prime switched right at the end, so he definitely switched out himself. Primes for Splinter to the end. He's going to come out behind Flash Junior, so that's the place for Flash. He's going to come out ahead of Daz. That's going to be quite close, actually. It's going to ball to Daz. Yeah, yep, nope. Daz gets out ahead of Splinter, so that could be a fight for 11th. But let's put Flash Junior in the points places. Same right now for Phenom Forever and XL Bun. Phenom Forever stays out for one more lap and then he'll pit. Yep. Uh, you would think Button pits though. Second place Button going for the undercut. The at the end of the race. Yeah, he's going, Button's gone for the undercut. I don't know, might have bat, he's, he might have stayed out. So the undercut from Dover oh, just had the number thing you were talking about. Uh, so Button pits then. For the option, of course. To go to the end. Is he going to get ahead of Tomo? Tomo pits himself actually, so that doesn't even matter. And so does Must Have a Shag, he pits himself. So there's, uh, there's no worry about traffic for Button. And that, going past them all now, was... Uh, 
please tell me who myself. Uh, damn it, really it did that then? It was Joke Killer, so Joke Killer now into fourth. Oh my god. Tomorrow comes out behind it and shots, I believe. And Master of the is going to come out behind Jessica or alongside of Jessica at three points. Very close to the there was a little bit of there. Jessica just ahead on Mustafa Shaka, so Mustafa Shaka goes back into 8th from where he was, but he's actually gained quite a lot on Jessica here, and he's now right behind her. He'll be in his 2nd, so he could definitely get 7th here. After I've said they both had quite a decent ball in race by themselves, and like that. They're now together on track for a fight on that 20 out of 28. There is a possibility that Mustafa Shaka goes to 6th place, I would have to reckon on possibly. Seven definitely on the corner. There we go, then looking at the bottom. What's your other than 12, isn't it? You don't need to do that to the top lot. <laughs> I've done them. I'm d I've done them. Yeah, that, that's the crucial thing. Moment on board with MM shots. First lap all clean. Um, I have to say, once again, everyone has been outstanding with corner cut. I have to say, I, I, I think this is the best league for corner cutting. Definitely could be. Now, let's have a shake for 7th place. Look at the inside of Jessica thinks about it. Does it? Well, I'm not sure if there was contact there or not, or they were just avoiding contact. I don't know who has the RS either. It's uh, Jessica that has the RS. I have no clue if there was contact or they were just avoiding it. I'm expecting it to be. Jessica now for 7th, can she get it back into turn 1, looks at it, but the options are on Must have a safe car, around the outside he stays, he's going to have the inside for turn 2 She has a bit of understeer and she's on the marble, so that is Must have a shag's place into 7th I had a message from Michael quite a while ago What a move by Button, Tomo unlucky, that was ages ago And I didn't read it Sorry but, uh, sorry Michael So, are there two leaders <laughs> right Next to each other. Let's go to find that one out. MM shops in fifth. Fourth is Joke Killer. Third is Matty, so he's definitely lost a lot of time in those pits. And yes, it is. It's Tomo is behind MM sh uh, behind Phenom, so he didn't he didn't get him. He didn't get the uncut. Yeah, I think I don't know what I said. So it's Phenom, then it's Button. So Button didn't get the undercut on Phenom. And Joke Killer's in fourth. I nearly got this right. I nearly got this right, Matt is in third, but I nearly got the top three right at the moment. So they're going off lap 21 and into lap 22. <laughs> fastest laps are being set. My well, fastest lap just was set by XRL Button due to the fact that he is on very fresh. Options. But. Matty, whatever happened in the pit stop or whatever happened in the sideline, I was fine. Just going to ride this for that one. Let's see, shall we? That's about five second gap from second to third, I'd have to say. About a five seconds, so it's costing quite a bit of time, and then it's around about another four or five second gap to go to the and fourth, which has got quite a big gap. Back to fifth of MM shots and Hail King Tomo. And now seventh is the closing ever quicker. Must have a shag, which is doing a good job once again in the number 21 car. And just go after it. Lonely in quite a decent race in eighth. That's Alex Hampton. Um, yeah. Uh, He's a 131.713 Bahrain good. Thanks for that question, Alexander. Are you not into the stream at all? You said that, but dark. Um, 131.713. Is that a good time, Joe, would you reckon, I think, for GB2 anyway? I haven't done any practice yet. Oh, you haven't done any practice. Well, I'll ask Azar after the race and see what he thinks. Or you can find out from Michael, which is probably what he's doing. Um, Yes, yeah, you left it so long till you bothered to read my messages. Wow, one hour till we go to war, words and clans. One hour until we go to war. That's gonna be serious.
But World War II all over though. again. What about one? Why? Yeah, what about one? Why did you not think of one? Why did you think of number two when you thought Everyone that? Everyone really... Our generation, anyway, remembers World War II. We weren't War alive at this that. point. Why do we even... No, right. <laughs> Our generation wasn't alive. If you think of a war, right, the first one that we would have thought of is World, World War Two because it was the closest. No. No. I think of World War One. I. I think of You're both. I think of both. You're a liar. liar. Can't call... No, I'm... What? I think of both world wars, you don't just think of one more than the other. They're both tragic. Okay then, who do you think of when you say Flash, a, a war? Adolf Hitler. Flash yeah. Jr. goes into Why? eighth, and he was in both, okay? Jessica now, well, she, she's done a free stop, she just pitted for some options. Turns out the pit's now in tenth. So whatever oh. this free stop strategy, but it's obviously not like an entire way to pull here. Puts it down to tenth, well, which only a point, but... Five laps to go. Yeah, can she... She get back into ninth. She, she, she was in a nice, comfortable eighth for race, and now she's down in tenth. But just not too comfortable. So I'm not too sure what happened there. But not the best tire wear from her herself. There, Daz is still eleventh and twelfth with Chisholm, which I think also struggling with the tire wear. Which she may have done the same thing, to be fair. Been on forever. May have the fastest lap of the race now. Uh, and he does not. I'm lying to you. A whole second quicker than Phenom Forever liar, liar. is Matty. He's done a 37-4-4-2, and the Phenom has done a 38-4-7-7. And we've lost. Damn, oh no! That's horrible. I don't like that. I don't agree with that. Five to go. Oh, disappointing. Yeah, technically he was on lap 24 as well. Actually, he was on lap 24. Someone Quick, needs to do the math. Anyway. Yeah, oh. Needs to do the math. oh shite. Wow! Don't you hate it? That's not the first time that's happened to the race leaders this season as well. This is so ridiculous. Oh my god. Uh, okay, so I'm going after him. Um, Shadow Hunter FX, Azar, PB is a 30.9, FD 31.6. Oh, it's Ham. It will be close in GP2, so I can't wait for that in Bahrain this week on Monday. But now, for now, the race is on for the lead. Button maybe in the lead, he's inherited it from from Phenom Forever, that could have been his, but the man who is lapping a second quicker really is Matty, and I will actually quickly check how much his fast lap is, they're definitely a second quicker, but we can quickly check over the two last laps to see. Button on lap 21 did a 38.9, 39.2, 39.9, uh, 39 so we'd, we'd check the last two laps from, so it's a 37.4 and a 38.4, so that's a second and a bit quicker from... Mally, I believe, and that's the joke you're in the third, so I, I could have got that one right. Could have, would have, should have, didn't. That's a 37, I think, from Maddy as well, though, so I feel like he is massively closing on button here. About three to go. Joke killer in a nice, comfortable third there. Yeah, got a buffer. Tomo fourth because of that. Tomo's fourth because of that. Where's MM shots gone? Have a shag fifth M and shots has he done the same? His people oh, really flash student somehow it? sick. Flash he student somehow sick. It. Yeah, he did. He did. Must... MM shots did the same as Jessica. I feel like Jism and Jessica. So obviously people were struggling with a tire wear or something here. Well, yeah, no, Jessica's I now back into eight. Didn't I? He had to do twelve laps on the options. That's why he pitted too early. Prime stint. And Jessica also went with him. But the Jessica is now up to eight. She the, has passed yeah. what, what the F1. Or what F1 Spinter. No, it's she hasn't. I don't think she has. Yeah, has. I've just I saw her go past, Fred. Really? Are you sure she, she didn't just go up because of the guy who lagged out? She's in eighth place, Wes. Oh, she's in eighth place. Oh yes, because she was in tenth, so she did so that's helped her loads. So she's back basically where she was. If she can close down any of the others. In front of her, which is Tomo and... Oh, Jism. Jism going for 11. Jism doesn't want to finish last. Now does Daz running outside of turn 2. If Jism would do that, he just kept it within the right line. He's just been given enough room by Daz, and he's actually not going to get it because Daz is going to get patched action because of that. That was close and respectful, kind of, by both of them. And that's for... Actually, no, it's now for 10th, but it's for a point. It's for a point. This is for a point. This is where you see the best of the people. The leaders are getting even, even closer. They're on that 26 or 28 now. 
on that uh, side of the fence, but these guys are still at 25, at 28. And this is for a point which is more important than 25. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Very close. Little Dizzy just launched up the inside of here. Oh, Daz, are you going for He's on the options. He might as well try it, and that's a good move. And Daz went to go for the corner, but Jism was there, and he just backed out of the corner, and that's Jism's. Good move by Jism to move up to 10th. Button's still in the lead, but he's got Matty all the way right here. He's on him. He's within a second, Matty. On oh, these bad, 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 bad on those pines, but good on these options. And now soon has been on the flag down. He's gone straight for it. The wind could have been out of the car, but soon he's still here. So unlucky. Gotta hate that. It's an engine failure. Gotta hate that. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe it, why does it always happen to do it at the wrong time? Why does it always do it at the wrong time? I know your engine blew up and it's... Whoa, it's ridiculous how that happened. Yeah, that's ridiculous. 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 Yeah, so it goes through, but he's gone through anyway, so Button has to DRS, they're going for that 27 out of 28 with the Mosman lap, Button's going to go back through due to DRS, down the home, straight into turn one. Now he's going to have to wait and try and pass him through the midfield, uh, the mid um, section of the lap, so he's just going to have to wait again and try again on the last lap, passing the DRS. Could have been a freeway, which is a bit annoying. Either way this goes, that Button's probably going to be leaving this championship after this race. And now he's had such a terrible run, Matty's had some of the better one. It's side by side from the left. Matty actually just backs out of it and feels better of it. Now for the right, he's got better traction again. He's just doing so much better right now with the traction. He thinks about it. It's safer just to wait behind him again. He is just waiting for DRS. He did, he did pit a lap later. He did, he did, he did. I went for the Jesus, undercut. All of a sudden goes really slow. Why is he going so slow? No, he's not. That's just my sound went. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> he's going really slow. Wait, oh, no, wait. He's, he's going really like, slow, he's but he's <laughs> so slow. But, I, but oh, it, yeah. the sound just went for a minute. Look how close this is here. Yeah. Like the They're side by side coming down the home back straight and they either one of them really wants to go ahead here but Matty's going for it anyway. We're really going for this screen because it's going to be the last. Actually he's trying to give Button the play back there. I think it's Button there faster before it's so a Matty gets DRS that was so close and Matty has DRS so that means he's going to go through into the lead of the as they go on to the final lap. That may have been the crucial point there on that last corner to make sure he didn't he had the RS, not Button. Button goes for the late lunch turn one anyway. It's a bit of contact. That would be down to Button. So turn two is a bit interesting. It's nearly a side pod. Getting a bit aggressive there. That late lunch was a bit rude and a bit mean and a bit horrible. Quite a bit, to be fair. I think it's quite close for another position back at six places. Like that was question, and that might be that battle. Or is it Tomo? Uh, no, Tomo is in fifth by himself, I think. Fifth or fourth, I think. Oh, he was four. in. That's it. Right, done. Oh, fine. So I feel like because of that little bit of rudeness by Button, that it could be over. As Flash Student gets overtaken by his teammate, that might be a little bit painful for students, especially as there was a side pod glitch between them at the start of the race. Yeah. I think that's a bit of a kick in the teeth there for students. Nearly especially beating. on the last lap as well. Oh, well, here we go. DRS is in play for Matty now. He needs the pass. But after everything that's happened, it doesn't matter now who gets DRS on the home straight. Matty goes up the inside of Button. On the last corner, the button tried to outbreak him and he's got a bit deep, but now it's all down to traction and Matt has not got a very good traction at all, but DRS is in favour. They've had a bit of contact, it's going to be Bun takes the win by about a tenth. Not even that. 
That was close. That was horrible and mean and touchy touchy. But Joke Killer is going to take third. Wow, my heart is going a bit fast now because that was very close. And I wasn't sure he was going to win that. Nice race by Joke Killer to take third. Tomo is going to be very happy with fourth. Hey, Must have shaken him very I well. Yeah, Must have shaken him very happy with fifth. Now, nah, wow, I need to stop for a minute. Sorry, who actually ended up winning that? I wasn't paying attention. Button. Button ended up winning. Button won that. Oh! Well, that was interesting. Yeah. I don't want one of those horse race announcers where you're just saying some world of crap for the whole thing. Jessica's gonna take eighth on her debut race. That was very good by her. And seventh was a uh, student. Whew. And uh, ninth spinner after the whole thing with the uh, qualifying, so no good. Good showing in his first race as well. Disney's going to take he be happy with a point. And crikey, I can't wait to see the gap. Oh, still, I still haven't even changed that. It's uh, finished. It's not last lap anymore. It's uh, finished. Cool. So as we you tell when you get into it. man does to cross the line as he comes out the last corner. He'll be the only man who won't get a point apart from the ones who lagged out. But he does wee with delightment that he is in an F1 car. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, that was nothing. Whoa! <laughs> Less than a tenth. And Matty went five tenths quicker than yesterday's fastest lap. If he did that time in qualifying, that would have put him fourth on the grid. Wait. Yep. Did, did you hear that? I heard that. Dane, right, let's get the leaders. Oh. I'm gonna drink my drink because I've just Who gone. Is it? Who is it? Oh, it's Matty. Oh, God. Wow. Wow, oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow. It was third, was it Joke Killer? It was, wasn't it? It was Joke Killer. Holy cow. No. See what I mean by yeah. the, the lower down your division as you go, the more exciting it gets. We just had a photo finish for the win. And invite to Pate. To Pate! 800. Are you serious? <laughs> Are you serious right now? <laughs> oh god. Right, go on, Joe. So we you have. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for this. We have got. The top three in the lobby. The top two were split than less than the tenth. That must be a kick in the teeth for Matty. But we will start off with the leader. Uh, you must be sweating buckets right now, Button. Well, the guy with adrenaline is still coming through me at the moment. How did you think I felt? <laughs> that was very tight. But um, as your race panned out, it looked like you might have been outdone by Phenom. Um, do you reckon? you could have done anything to feed him if he was still in the race or do you think that he would have won and just give a brief summary on the, your race for us? Well, it is uh, hard to tell because he was lagging quite a lot when he was in front of me. He was lagging back and then he was going forth and he had like a three second gap out of nowhere. So it would have been difficult to tell. But um, all in all, like, it was, you know, we were battling at the front leg like, between me, you know, and Matty, but uh, just, I don't know, just words can't even tell. Like, <laughs> <laughs> But any, anyway, going from Australia, you had, uh, or the start of the season, you had no podiums, no race wins in XRL. Um, this must be a real good start to your season, then, obviously. And yeah. you, uh, could you see yourself continuing this run of victories, do you reckon? You know, compared to last season, this season's just fantastic, and uh, they've basically near enough got more points from what I ended up with last season, and you know now. But uh, you know, just luck at the end there, defending against Molly and uh, having to defend against him throughout the last few laps. But um, going into Bahrain, I'm comfortable with the track, but uh, it could be. A toss-up between, you know, the front three. Right, okay, but well done on your very slim race win. Um, I'm sure our second place man next week will be looking for vengeance, or revenge, I meant. Vengeance, I don't know what that was about. 
But um, <laughs> well done, Matty, on your um, second place. But also commiserations on not winning. Just tell us how your race went. Um, race went fine all on the first lap. Stubborn and malt down on the first lap. Yeah, because you lost quite a lot of positions. Um, yeah, from I think your... I went down from first to fourth or something like that. I had to make back up the paces as the laps went on. But, um, but going into the last stint, you were quite far behind the top two before Phenom dropped out. Did you feel from, um, did you know that your pace would have been that strong to catch back up to him? Or well, was it a bit um, of a shock? It depends how, um, bottom was, um, his last couple of laps. I like mm. his pace compared to mine. Well, um, I will let you know that also your fastest lap would have gotten you, um, Fourth in the F4 qualifying race, and it also was faster than their uh, race that yesterday. So that's something to go on to. How do you feel you can do in Bahrain? Much, much better if my connection lasts like us <laughs> There you go. Well done on your second place. Um, that's cool. A very, um, um, I, I, to me, it's a very new driver um, in the podium interview. Um, well done, Joke Killer, on a very... Um, what seemed to be a very quiet third place yeah, for you. Again. You seem to be um, one of those drivers who were uh, keeping your nose clean, staying out of trouble, but getting the results that mattered. Uh, you must be feeling very, um, the word, um, happy with your uh, third place. Uh, yeah, I guess I guess you could say that. I mean, like, if Phenom didn't disconnect, obviously I would have got fourth. It's all the same as Australia. So, mm. I mean, if... Uh, Matty didn't connect bit, uh, disconnect then, would have got fifth. But yeah, like, quiet race. My race pace isn't that great, but um, at the moment, yeah, it's starting to get me the points I need. So. Consistency is key, and, and finally, how do you feel you can do in Bahrain? Uh, Bahrain isn't one of my strongest tracks. It's like, I don't know. I, it, my race pace so, overall so, isn't great, so... But we'll have to wait and see. Realistically, what position? Uh, what what would you be aiming for? Uh, I'd say top five, definitely. Right, that is good to know. Well done on your podium. Congratulations to all of our podium. Um, word. I'm, I'm losing words. Right Sitters. Now. Um, Sitters. Yes, that's the word. <laughs> uh, I've done too much of this already. Um, yeah. There is, did I hear Michael say there's a demolition derby thingy that they were on about? Anyway. Yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow, that's cool, I, don't, but... that's, I don't think that's being streamed though, so that will be, no. uh, you will be updated by that. Thank you to Michael on next week. We ha we are done for Malaysia this season. We are moving on to Bahrain this week with the Sunday League, which is the F1 League. Uh, starts at 8 o'clock, hope you guys will all be there for that. It will be Wes and who? Is it Chris? Right, just Chris, yeah. in the box with you. Yep. But anyway, from me, from Wes, and from our podium uh, contestants, that's not the word. Anyway, goodbye. <laughs> I, I swear you're literally, you've done too much talking already. Oh, my days, I just want to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs>